So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we're going to discuss the command command <laughs> of the Docker file. So there's a command called cmd and that is exactly what it does, what it says. It actually executes a command, right? So what happens is when you create a container, whenever you write like Docker run um, the name of your image and whatever options, then when you hit enter, there are two things which happens. The first is the entry point in Docker and second is the command. We're gonna get into all of that later on, um, but I'm just gonna describe it here. So entry point, script, and then command script. And both of, both of them are actually customizable when you're running containers with Docker. So entry point script in a lot of images is just the uh, default shell of, of that particular image, right? So for in case of Ubuntu, the entry point script is it has to actually run bash, right? And then the command um, in case of Ubuntu is actually bash only. That's how you get an interactive shell, right? So um, what you could do is you could actually customize this to a particular command which would run as um, as the initial command, I should rather say. So let's say I have a initial command of just ls, right? And it's safe. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a docker compose of up. And remember, it builds my container and it's, it runs it as well. So we do not really need to run the container separately. So if I go ahead and hit enter, you're gonna see it starts my container and actually it does not uh, echo anything because it did not build the container again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say build so it would build the container and then it would run it again. So you can see it echoes out uh, the output of ls with the name of the container on the left so that it's easier for us to recognize that which container has output what thing. Right In a single container environment it's useless but as you would create more and more containers it would become useful. So you can see now when I specify the build so it forced docker compose to build the image again because we have obviously changed our docker file hence the underlying image should change hence it should be built again so yeah and then we could actually run ls so ls was actually executed over top of entry point script so bash actually executed ls here and here's how we are so if you for example um customize your entry point script to um i don't know let's say bin cat for example and then you just give file.txt then you would actually see the contents of file.txt here right or actually rather i should say flag.txt because that's what the file is here right so we're going to come to um entry point scripts later on but just like i said but for now it's it's just about the command in docker and actually uh, because docker composes so well integrated with docker a lot of things you do in Docker files is actually available in Docker Compose as well. So you can actually write the runtime command that is this particular command here. Instead of in Docker file, you can just write it inside uh, your Docker Compose file. So you can write command and then, you know, whatever you want to do. And it is one and the same thing. So you're going to see that it outputs the same thing again by building it again and running all the steps. And you get the same ls output. Right. To verify this is like the updated thing, you can just add some flags so that it's easier for you to see that yes, indeed, um, the command is actually being run from Docker Compose. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next video real quick.